Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot and continuing our eating and drinking around the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2021. Last video we started and actually went towards Canada and ended in France and then today I'm going to start in Mexico and try to make our way around the opposite side stopping at the boots and trying all the different drinks and food items for the festival. So let's go do this. If you guys want to see the first video, I will put the link in the description. Basically, we started at Canada, made it all the way to France, and we tried a little bit of something from every single stand. And that's why we're actually going to start going towards Mexico and all the other stands that we haven't done yet today. The first stand we're going to go to is the Mexico stand, and they have a lot of unique items here. And one of them I'm super excited to try. The Garden Margarita is something that I've been wanting to try. Look at this, it's got lettuce juice inside of it. Lettuce juice, I say. But another thing that I'm interested to try is the Taco Vampiro. It's pretty amazing, and if you look at the picture, it's got a crispy grilled Monterey Jack cheese. Everyone likes burnt cheese. I'll even eat burnt cheese. And here it is, the Garden Margarita. This looks like a healthy smoothie, like a mean green machine smoothie. And then we've got the Taco Vampiro. And I don't know if it's pronounced Vampiro, but I just thought of a vampire for some reason. And the cheese is like crusty cheese. So they put this on the grill and they melt it down and then they actually add the taco and the beef and then they fold it right over and it comes to a little salsa. I'm excited to try this one actually. First, I have to go with the Garden Margarita to see what this tastes like. A friend of mine actually asked me, hey, have you tried the Garden Margarita yet? And I said, no. And he's like, I can't wait to hear your thoughts. So. Okay. Well, don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely finish it, but it's not like refreshing and it is kind of like what you would think it is like a, a mean green like smoothie you can definitely taste the lettuce juice and then you can taste the tequila I mean it's not too bad actually after it sits for a little bit it's not that bad at all it's not that it's horrible but when you think of a margarita you think salty you think you think sweet or fruity but this is uh, it's just a little it's a little mismatched oh my lord look at that duck now I'm gonna dive into the taco and this is something I'm very excited to try. That is so good. When you take a look on the inside, make sure you get some of this salsa with it as well. But I really, really enjoy this. And if you like burnt pizza cheese, then you're gonna really love this. Uh, it's a Monterey Jack, so you know the cheese flavor isn't what you would normally get but i like this a lot we're gonna move along to the next stand i'm gonna bring my uh garden margarita with me and this is definitely a little bit on the stronger side when it comes to the alcohol i feel you can really taste that tequila in there and i figured it'd be best if i just took my time drinking it not just you know throw it right back our next stop is going to be the Lotus House and the one thing that I had my eyes on here was this actual Bon Bon Chicken Skewer. They also have the Jasmine Beer but I feel like they have that every festival but this festival fits best because it's flower and garden. They also have some crab and cheese wontons that look really interesting but I think I'm good with just the skewer. I actually got the chicken skewer and now I wanted to get out of the crowds and find somewhere quiet and I was like where can I find a garbage can that's just tucked away and nice and quiet and I thought to myself wow I'm so trained to just eat on garbage cans I'm actually actively looking for a tucked away garbage can when I can look for a tucked away table bench or anything so I did actually find somewhere that's really good to actually sit down and eat this and it's a little bit quiet over here right next to these playful pandas playing we can come right on over here and we've got benches and we've got just little tiny tables and lights and this would be a good spot to finish my garden margarita and chicken skewer i like it over here it's very pretty isn't it still just sipping away on the garden margarita and like i said no matter what I'll always finish my drinks and like I said, it wasn't a horrible beverage, it's not a horrible margarita, but it definitely needs to be taking its time. 
And now I'm gonna try the chicken bonbon skewer with peanut sauce. Look at this. This is absolutely delicious. The peanut sauce is nice and tasty, and they actually give you such a large amount of sauce. Like they really, they really sauce it up. It's it's very saucy, and I like that. I also like the chicken. It's a very good texture of chicken. So I'll definitely get this again. But most of all, I just like sitting back here, eating like a little chicken skewer and listening to the nice Chinese music, dropping a little peanut sauce on my shirt. I had a barbecue stain on my white t-shirt. <laughs> I got a peanut stain on my piano shirt. The peanut sauce actually has a little spice to it. So it's gonna help with this garden margarita. Our next booth is right here in Germany and they actually have potato pancakes here. Somebody told me that they changed their potato pancakes because I didn't like the ones that they had in the past. They are more authentic potato pancakes. Like they're not like fried or crispy or anything like that. So we'll see if these ones are different. Here is a look at all the things that they're offering. You can see they have potato pancakes with ham, and then they have potato pancakes with house-made applesauce. They also have a toasted pretzel bread, and this comes with ham and cheese. But I just went with the potato pancakes that are homemade applesauce. Applesauce and potato pancakes go together well. Same thing as pork chops. They also have some pretty good beer and a beer flight, but I think I tried all of these before. So I don't think I'm gonna get anything to drink at this stand. Here is a look at the potato pancakes with homemade applesauce. I feel like it hasn't changed much at all though. It's usually like a loaf, do you know what I mean? It's not so much like a fried potato pancake, but we're gonna try it. Maybe the batter is a little bit different. Let me see here. I mean, of course you got a little bit of that applesauce in there. Yeah, that's the way. This music is romantic though. <laughs> Do you hear it as I'm eating the potato pancakes? It's very, very good. Now, it's not like your traditional pancake, like I said. It's not like your carnival or fair. This is more of a German potato pancake. Not so much fried. It's not very greasy at all. This is actually pretty decent. It does taste better than the times I've had it before. Kudos. They definitely stepped up their game. I actually really, really enjoy it. After having like two bites, I was like, wait a second, this is really good. So they definitely, they definitely changed things up a little bit. That makes me so happy that the potato pancakes were good this year. And the applesauce, if it's house made, it was actually very delicious. I don't know where they made it at. Maybe it's a part of Beer Garden because Beer Garden's applesauce is pretty delicious. Our next stop, I think, is gonna be the Italy stand. I'm not even sure what they have on the menu, but I know I'm gonna get something pretty delicious. They always have tasty stuff, and sometimes they have good drinks. Not too much, though. Sometimes their wine-based drinks are just, you know, that's not my thing. So we'll see what they have. But in good tradition, I have to stop and take a look at the Midi Town train set right here because every festival they switch the banners on the poles in the little town. And I want to see if they switched over to Flower and Garden. It's right over here. Oh, here comes the train coming into station. Oh, they did. Look at you can see the mini Flower and Garden like festival banners. How awesome is that? I'm going to give you a closer look though. That is Disney detail right there for you. I love it. The littlest details always impress me. I always just think Disney, when they just put that little bit effort in, makes them stand out above a lot of different theme parks and amusement parks. And Disney kind of like made a staple of that. And that's why I love coming here. I love looking at the little things, the hidden Mickeys, just the little Easter eggs and stuff like that. It makes a big deal. Here is a look at everything they have to offer. And normally I like to go with the margarita pizza, but I think I'm gonna get the Arancini. Sweet sausage fried risotto balls with pomodoro sauce. And then the drinks, they always have, like I said, just the wines. And I'm not a big wine drinker, so I think I'm not gonna get a drink at this stand either. 
when you find a nice table with a good view during a festival you're like hitting the lottery and I kind of did right now there's nobody over here you got a beautiful view the sunsets happening spaceship earth is right there and I'm about to eat some sausage sa sausage this is great <laughs> there's like nobody over here lucky me but anyway here they are and don't these look amazing i can't wait to dip into the sauce a little bit i don't know should i break it open first i always like opening things up and seeing what's inside first any of you guys just do that like do you always like take a look inside i've seen a lot of people where they bite it and then look in it but i like to cut into it and then look into it so we're gonna go like that and just get a little little bit of a look there i've got high hopes here i think it's the one i think these are gonna be it they are so delicious. The only downside is it's $12. $12 for four of these. It's like $3 a ball. I would definitely get these again though. I got one left, so I gotta get all the sauce on there. Perfect, I'm gonna get a big spoonful. Kinda looks like a meatball. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Now I'm living dangerously. Time to move along and we're almost finished. I mean, we have America and then we have Japan, probably to get some frushi, and then we're back at France. And that means we tried either a drink or a food item from every single stand at Flower and Garden Festival this year. I feel a sigh of like accomplishment there. Now, just because I tried something from every single stand for Flower and Garden Festival doesn't mean I tried everything because all of the Joffrey's and refreshment ports all have a special Flower and Garden dish that I haven't even gotten to yet. Like, there is so much. That's why I had to break up this video into two or else it would have been like an hour-long video. And I don't know if you guys like watching hour-long videos or not. One thing that's new this year is the live local music that they're doing here at the American's Garden Theater. We have Epic Live tonight, and this is a local band. Normally, you're able to see a lot of like really nationally known bands, but this year they're actually focusing more on a local scale, and I think that's really amazing. So maybe we'll catch them for a little bit and see uh, how well they do. I've never heard of them before, but I bet you they're gonna be fun. I always enjoy watching shows here. Like Voices of Liberty on the main stage is my favorite thing now. a show over there i actually got there last minute and i couldn't get a seat but funny though i did see our johns and donna and they had a seat and they asked me to seat with them but i knew i wanted to get a little bit more of the food in so i decided to come back over to magnolia terrace and this is the american booth and they have some pretty good items here and i think i've had some of them last year i think they have some returning favorites we got some crawfish we got some oysters and then house-made boudin two ways so you can actually get it in both of the ways that it comes i think i've had this last year and i really liked it so i might get that again but for drinks they have an actual good beer flight and i think i'm gonna go with it because you get three different types of beers we have a double ipa a daylight american light ale and then an orange wheat ale so that's what we're doing. We're gonna go beer flight in Budine. Oh boy, look at this. <laughs> All right, I hope I got far enough where I can still hear the music and jam out and also eat all this amazing food. Look at this. Oh. I love eating things with music. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but we're gonna try this way first. No mustard though. Someday!
I really thought the Italian food was going to be my favorite, but oh no, Mongolia comes in with the win. This is my favorite thing to eat at the festival. So amazing, no mustard needed. I mean, if you like mustard, get the mustard, but I haven't draw, I haven't went into this one yet. I just tried it this way, because you do get to try it both ways. So we're gonna set this down, and I'm going to cut into it a little bit. Let's see, oh yeah, this is too good. Now we're gonna fork it up. Oh boy, look at that. That is so amazing. This music is so good, and I'm excited to try this. So amazing. I don't know which one I like better. I think I like the other way better, but both of them equal my favorite thing to eat at the festival. Now we got the 81 Bay Brewing Orange Wheat Ale. Cheers. Now we got the Wicked Weed Light American Light Ale. Cheers. This might be my new favorite spot to sit and actually listen to the concerts because it's really nice here. This is a good spot. Last but certainly not least, the Ghost in the Machine Double IPA. Double IPA, eh? A. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Ah. Our next stop is right here in Japan, and there's a bunch of bats flying around. Can you see them? Oh, they just popped in the screen right there. Oh, yeah, right there's one. And you know, when you come to Japan, you have to get the frushi. I know it's a, such a popular thing. Everyone likes to get the frushi. I like to get the frushi. It is delicious. They have some other amazing things, including the shrimp and crab, the soy glazed pork shank. I feel like I should have got that though. But I think I'm gonna go with just the good old frushi. I need a dessert. I haven't had any yet. And here it is, the frushi. This is definitely a flower and garden favorite. Like everybody gets the frushi because it's that good. So we're gonna add a little cream on there. I didn't grab chopsticks. I feel like that's a part of the experience. So we're gonna just fork it. Uh oh, there we go, like that. Perfect. Can you one bite on a frushi here? I don't know, one bite. It is literally just as good as I remember. So good. You gotta get extra whipped cream though. That's one thing I forgot. If you if you can just be like, hey, can I get a little extra whipped cream on there? Yeah, because you wanna you wanna smother it. We kind of make it like a cake. <laughs> the frushi was so delicious. Just like I remember from last year and the year before. Always a go-to for me. I think that's probably the one festival food, not just out of Flower and Garden, like all of the festivals, that is an absolute must. I have to get it every time I come here. And now I think we're done. We made it back to France and we've done a full lap around. I mean, between two videos. So if you only watch this video, watch the first video with uh, my friend Jackie and I, and that was opening day. We uh, accomplished a whole lot. And we've actually eaten at every stand, like I said, except for the uh, stands that are just signature to Flower and Garden. So we've done all the country stands per se. And uh, yeah, there are some definite like winners here. I absolutely love the key lime tart and the slider in the world show place. And then today, I think my favorite was the Bodine uh, balls. Those were the best. And then of course, uh, the sausage risotto was a close second, very close second. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.